Now let's go on to problem 14. And problem 14, in my opinion, is going to be about the same boat as problem 13. It's going to be easier to do this if we convert our terms. So cosecant is 1 over sine of x. This is divided by tangent of x, which is sine of x over cosine of x. Now if you multiply those terms, you are going to get cosine of x divided by sine squared of x. Well, that expression isn't necessarily any more simple to take the derivatives of, but I prefer taking the derivatives of sines and cosines. They're just a little bit easier for me to remember. So we have f over g. f is equal to cosine of x. g is equal to sine squared of x. f prime is the derivative of cosine of x, which is negative sine of x g prime is equal to sine squared of x derivative of that, which because we're still in our trigonometric derivatives and we haven't learned the chain rule yet, um, the only way to do this is to do sine of x times sine of x and then use the product rule. Now I happen to know that this is equal to 2 sine of x times the cosine of x because I'm familiar with calculus, I've um, done this before. But because we're not at a point where we have the ability to do this, basically we started off doing converting this to cosines and sines, and we came up with something that we don't have the skills to do yet. So that means we're going to actually want to do this derivative by having f equal to cosecant of x and g equaling to tangent of x. Now, if it makes you feel any better, I knew we were going to run into that snag before I started doing that. The reason that I did decide to go through the sines and cosines and follow that route is to show you that sometimes by trying to make a problem easier for yourself, you can run into dead ends very quickly. So good practice, in other words. All right, anyways, f is equal to cosecant of x. We need the derivative of cosecant of x, which is negative cosecant cotangent. And then g is equal to the tangent of x, which is sec the derivative is secant squared of x. Our pro quotient rule is g f prime minus f g prime over g squared. So let's plug and chug. f prime of x is going to be equal to tangent of x times negative cosecant, cosecant of x cotangent of x minus f times g prime all divided by g squared. This is actually a fairly nice problem because we have the tangent of x multiplying the cotangent of x, so this is equal to 1, and then we have the cosecant of x multiplying secant of x, which that's also equal to 1. So this is going to give us negative cosecant of x minus secant of x over tangent squared of x. Nice and clean, very quick. So this was a good lecture to explain when you want to go to sines and cosines and when you want to take the derivatives of your odd trigonometric functions. So you know, be aware that it can kind of go either way depending on the problem.